Hello and welcome to Houston, Texas. I'm Ray Flores. Welcome to the PBC YouTube page. Coming up on September 26th, we have a tremendous night of boxing. Two pay-per-view cards for the price of one. An unprecedented event coming your way on Showtime Pay-Per-View. It is headlined by Jamal Charlo as he puts his middleweight championship of the world on the line against the hard-hitting Ukrainian Sergei Dervyanchenko. That is headlined by one card. Then it'll be Jermel Charlo headlining the other card as he puts his super welterweight championship of the world on the line against fellow champion Jason Rosario. Two cards for the price of one, $74.99, presented by Premier Boxing Champions, promoted by Lions Only Promotions and TGB Promotions. Just to give you an idea of what we have in store in 12 days, to begin the night, we have the PBC debut of the Filipino sensation, the WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World, John Riel Casimero from the Philippines. He will defend his title against the hard-hitting Ghanaian as he goes ahead and battles Duke Micah. Our co-main event of the first card from Westlaco, Texas, a champion in the Super Bantamweight division, Brandon Figueroa, will take on Damian Vasquez. And then the headliner of our first card, it'll be Jamal Charlo, who's undefeated. He hopes to keep his perfect record intact as he defends his championship against Sergei Dervianchenko. From there, there will be a 30-minute intermission hosted by Brian Campbell and Luke Thomas of Morning Combat. Following that intermission, we come back with another stellar card as we will begin the second card with Danny Roman, the former unified champion, as he will score off against the former champion Juan Carlos Payano. Also, the co-feature of the second card, it is going to be a sensational matchup as Luis Neri will go head-to-head -head against Aaron Alameda. And then the main event of the second card as Jermel Charlo, the brother of Jermel Charlo, will go head-to-head -head against Jason Rosario in a super welterweight unification matchup. This is the only the eighth time in history that this has happened at 154 pounds. Five world title fights on the card on September 26. You do not want to miss it for $74.99. It is one of the most stacked cards in the past several years. And we are here at the gym of Jermaul Charlo as we await the champion. As you will see him work out today and step inside the ring as he prepares himself for his showdown against Sergei Dervyachenko. Don't forget, it's all presented by Premier Boxing Champions, promoted by Lions Only Promotions and TGB Promotions. As the champion is in the building, Jermall Charlo, Lions Only, the hitman himself. Jermall, how are you? It is great to see you. First of all, Jermall, you are 12 days away as you get set to put your title on the line. You are a pay-per-view co-headliner with your brother. How does this feel for you? It's almost like a dream come true. You know, um, we're ready to work. We're ready to have fun. Uh, they said it's the come out party, so let's come out and have fun, baby. There are levels to this business. Yeah. For you to be headlining on pay-per-view, what is the significance? How special is this moment? special you know uh, this is our legacy here uh, that we've built and we're going to continue to build um 30 and 0 with 22 knockouts the road is so far ahead of me but you know look i'm this is what i'm built for i'm here to work well we're going to see you get to work we're going to let you go ahead and jump inside the ring we'll talk to you afterwards good luck on your workout and we look forward to talking with you in the next few moments sure Matril, and i got to tell you we're here at his home this place is unbelievable. I mean, talk about a palace fit for a champion. Jamal Charlo is going to work out. We're going to talk with Ronnie Shields. Jamal, will let you get yourself ready to go. We're going to talk with Ronnie Shields, his esteemed trainer as well. Don't forget, we're 12 days away live on Showtime Pay-Per-View. Five world title fights coming your way. You do not want to miss it. An excellent card from top to bottom, especially as we are in the midst of COVID-19. I hope all of you are safe and sound and doing okay, but you are going to be entertained on September 26th. And now we will turn our attention to Jamal Charlo as he's going to get his hands wrapped. And we're going to actually talk with Ronnie Shields as Jamal goes ahead and works out. So we will join you and you continue to follow the workout for Jamal Charlo here on the PBC YouTube page.
did me right during quarantine. That's a thumb. That's good. Thumb, are you ready? Yes, sir. Hey, um, some tunes and just make it low. You stay sharp. You sharp? Right <laughs> stay sharp, Dabo. They need you, Ronnie. Oh. They need you. Yeah. That's a thumb. is he has concussive knockout power. I've never seen this man out of shape in my life. I've known him for well over seven years. He always comes prepared. He always comes in shape. And don't blink because he could put you out with one shot. Just ask a few of his opponents over the past several years. We have a conversation with Roddy Shields, the esteemed trainer of Jamal Charlo. Roddy, you have been with Jamal Charlo for several years. And, and can you tell us about, for you, I asked Jamal what being a pay-per-view headliner means to him. But for you as his trainer, to watch how far he's come, what is this journey and what does September 26 mean to all of you? Well, I mean, it means a lot, you know, because it just lets you know that your fighter you know he's made it to the top you know he's made it to the point to where people want to see him because he's, he's the champion of the world you know and it's just in uh you know it's just great when you see one of your pupils come and get to this level in the sport of boxing the one thing i'll say is that jamal charlo along with his brother they are so proud of where they come from in houston texas can you give us an idea of how much the Houston embraces them? We were here, and I think I saw him around here when Jamal fought Brandon Adams yeah. last June. But the, the star power of Jamal just continues to rise. He was on GQ, you know, having a photo shoot with that. His, you know, now that he's headlining on pay-per-view, Houston continues to embrace him. Well, absolutely. You know, I mean, look, Houston love winners like everybody else. And this guy's a winner. So, and you know, he's a nice guy also. So, 
at the same time, people know he's a family man and he works very hard. And, you know, and he always shout in Houston out because, you know, this is where he's from. You have worked with a lot of fighters, a lot of legendary fighters over the course of your career. When it comes to Jermel, what separates him from the rest of the prize fighters that you have dealt with? Well, I mean, you know, I, of course, I've dealt, had so many good fighters in my career. And I mean, I'm, I thank God for that. And, but he's right at the top, but Evander Holyfield, Vernon Forrest, Fernando Whitaker, you know, hard work. You know, hard work, paying attention to what he has to do. And, you know, the, the thing that separates him, though, is that watching the opponent, every opponent, watching to making sure that, you know, he knows what he's in for. Well, let's talk about September 26th, specifically Sergei Derevchenko. Derevchenko had a very close loss at the hands of Gennady Golovkin in his lifetime out. He also came up short against Daniel Jacobs. What are you anticipating out of the Ukrainian hard hitter? Uh, just, like, just like every opponent, we expect for the opponent to be at his best. You know, we expect Ser Sergei to come in and, of course, try to win and to, to be the best he can possibly be on that night. But also, Jamal is doing the same thing. You know, we aren't leaving anything. No, 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 stone, will, no stone will be turned. Will be left on turn. You know, we're looking at everything. We're going through everything. You know, multiple times we go over the game plan every day, even over the phone sometimes. You know, even over the phone, you guys absolutely. game plan. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's important. You know, it's important that we do that. And and but we're not doing it just for Sergey. We do it for every fight. Now we're obviously dealing with difficult times in our world when it comes to COVID-19. What have, have there been any extra challenges that have been involved in preparing a fighter of the caliber of Jamal Charlo for his pay-per-view matchup on Showtime pay-per-view against Sergey Davianchenko? I, th I think the most important thing is, is that, you know, we stay safe. You know, that was the most important thing. And the good thing about us is we, we can come here to train. We didn't have to go anywhere outside to train, to be around anybody. We were able to be around ourselves only. And as you can see in this place, you know, we have a lot of room. We have a lot of room to do anything that we can possibly do. So it's, it's, it's great. You know, it's great to have your own facility to train at. Now, Ronnie, when it comes to Jamal, do you like the fact that Sergei Derevchenko is not going to be hard to find? He likes to come forward. He likes to apply pressure. Do you like the fact that, you know, Jamal doesn't have to necessarily cut off the ring per se because Sergei does like to come forward and throw punches and bunches? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, you have to, this is why you train. You train for all styles and train for the style that the guy that you getting in front of you is going to be. So, you know, the, the, the good thing about it, we don't have to look for him. And, you know, and he, he's not going to really have to look for us too much because he's going to be right there. So, you know, our thing is to be in shape, stay, stay with the game plan, and we feel good about, about this fight, and we know Jamal is going to be victorious. If everything goes according to plan, what would you like next? I know that the name of... Canelo Alvarez has been thrown about. You know, we know that Jamal is willing to fight any of the 160-pound champions. If that isn't on the table, could he potentially go up to 168? Yeah, well, I think I think Canelo is the is the name that everybody wants to see, and everybody wants the champion. You know, and you know that's what it is. I mean, you know, you have to want to fight the best. You know, what I mean? you know, always want to fight the best. So, right, and we think right oh. now, Canelo Alvarez oh. is, is probably the number one guy that we want to fight. The one item that I see about Jamal that, that I love seeing about him is he has an edge about him. He is the ultimate alpha male when he steps inside the ring. His demeanor, the way he prepares, how he applies the pressure to his opponents. But, you know, do you feel that he just thrives on having that edge about him in this fight business? Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he concentrates on everything that, that we have to, that has to be done. 
You know, and that's the most important thing, is to be the best that you can possibly be at every time that you step into that ring. You know, boxing is a dangerous sport, you know? It's not, it's not something that, you know, it's not, it's not like badminton, you know? Boxing is a sport that you have to concentrate and, you know, once your concentration is there, then, you know, then you have no worries. Jamal has been a pro for 12 years. Can you, not necessarily giving away your game plan or things that you've been working on, but how much better has he gotten since the last time we saw him on December 7th at Barclay Center on Showtime against Dennis Hogan? I think every fight, you have to step up to the next level, every fight. You know, because, you know, there's... Everybody wants that champion. So, so we have to continue to just step the game up every time. We have to keep doing different things and not, not the same thing that we normally do. And, you know, and, and he does that. You know, he's willing to learn. And everything that we throw at him, you know, he tries it, he does it, and he masters it. So that's what we wait waiting on. Are there times where I know his work ethic is second to none, but are there times where you have to tell him, okay, don't go in the gym today. I mean, he literally, this is his home gym. He, he lives here. He trains here. But are there times where you have to tell him, all right, take a day off or take a couple of days off? Right, absolutely. You know, sometimes I call him. I say, what, what you doing? Oh, and he won't tell me. But then he comes. But you know then. But I know. <laughs> I know. Then, you know, then I tell him, hey, man, we've got to slow it down a little bit. You know, because it's like training for this fight. You know, we had so much time that I had to slow him down. But I know some some days that he would slow down. So we just had to, we have to you know have to get on him sometimes. You mentioned in interviews that you feel like Jamal doesn't get the respect that he deserves from some fans and media members. Why is that so, Ronnie? Well, I mean, you know, I told him before that you know Holyfield went through the same thing. You know, they they always came up with something you know different. And I say, look. Every fight is going to be different. You know, as soon as you win, then it's going to be, the, the excuses are going to come out for the other guy. I say, so you can never be, you can never be perfect in this sport. So don't expect to be. Expect to get criticism all the time because it's going to help. Are you hoping to go ahead and, and just obliterate Darianchenko in a way that Gennady Golovkin and Daniel Jacobs couldn't get close to doing. <laughs> well, you know, the thing about it is, Talk that shit, we just gonna be the fight, the best fight that we know how to fight, and I think that's gonna be enough for, for us to, you know, to show that we're different than Daniel Jacobs and Triple G. You know, and Daniel Jacobs, he went to a decision. Golovkin went to a decision. We're not trying to go to a decision. Our thing is to try to make a big statement, not just a small statement. Ronnie, we'll let you get back to Jamal Charlo. Thank you so much for your time as we continue the workout with Jamal Charlo here on Premier Boxing Champions YouTube page. <laughs> we come in to fight every fucking minute. 36 of them, we're going to fight every 36 minutes. Whatever you're talking about, this shit ain't going to work. I swear it ain't going to work. And whatever you want to do, we're going to do it. We ain't scared of shit you got. No, no, I don't care where you come from. Then that shit. What? What? <laughs> what you talking about? Okay. All you do is jab. All you do, yep, you gonna get jab. We, oh, oh, you gonna try to throw it? He gonna try to throw that? Well, yep, we gonna throw that motherfucker too. Yep. What else you wanna do? What else you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh, you. He been scared of GGG. He from Russia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He from over there. He been knowing who GGG was. He been scared of him, so he ain't scared of me. He coming straight war. Come on, come kill. Come, come on, come on, Charlo. <laughs> what they talking about? Um, give me the glove. Let's go. Let's go. Who's the unlucky person who has to hold the pads? 
いいねやす Hey, Come on, Steve. Dom, get the pads. Really interrupting my workout. That's what they're doing. Interrupting my shit. But I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all interrupt today. And you know what I'm saying? My shirt. You see my shirt? They don't know what he gonna do. They don't know none of that shit, Ronnie. So I don't even answer them questions. He's he gonna do. Who's he gonna do? He don't know what I'm gonna do. He don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, let's go. He don't know what I'm gonna do. Work time. Oh, I'm right here. Yeah, see you know what I'm saying? Virtual media workout for Jamal Charlom as he gets set to defend his middleweight championship of the world against Sergey Deryachenko. It is the first of its kind Showtime pay-per-view doubleheader presented by Premier Boxing Champions. Boxing fans will be treated to two stacked fight cards on one night for one price $74.99. The Charlo doubleheader will feature six compelling fights with five world titles on the line. Jermon Charlo undefeated 30-0, 22 knockouts, but put his crown on the line against Sergei Derevianchenko. Yeah, good yeah, shit, no, right? That's though. good. That's okay. good. Keep walking like that. Oh. Okay. 
Spirit. Yeah, you're rolling underneath. Yeah, that's what I've been. Keep rolling so keep underneath. Rolling. Keep, keep rolling underneath. Keep rolling under. Come, come up with punches. Hey, down. Yes, sir. When you roll under more than one punch, not okay. one. Okay, gotcha. I need more than one. Okay. I didn't, I didn't want to. Okay, bye. Give me three. Give me three. Give me three. I've been like this. I'm glad I ain't got it. Yeah. Yeah. Make them fight. See that? That's it. Perfect. As long as you let your hands go, I'm good. Get some water. I gotta slow down. Get, uh, Get some water. Get <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. That's good. Keep your hands moving yeah, like that. I got my hands good. Yeah. yeah. And your hands go. I like that. Just keep working like that. Everything is good. Looking good. Feel good. You don't know where it's going. That's right. They don't know what's gonna happen. They don't. No secret, baby. No secret. All right, two more. Watch when he, watch when he run into the shit. Come run into the shit. Your hands up. I'll Keep your, your hands up. Take step all the time. You ready? What the red thing? Okay. Yeah.
kind of, kind of. <laughs> there you go. That's good. There you go. Beautiful. There you go. Oh, yeah. Going home one. after that, baby. One, two, Going home after that one. Going home after that one. Going home after that one. Good. That's good. Go ahead, touch it with that right hand, baby. We're going on. That's the way to work. Keep doing it. Come on, come on. All right, last round. Hold your hands to move and your thumb combinations. Stepping around. That's it, baby. Yep, yep. Every time he grab you, walk him. Walk him around. Walk him around. That's good, Don. Okay. Last round. Super sharp. 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 Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Finish up for strong. Finish strong. There you go. There you go. Finish strong. There you go. Good job, good job. That's the way to work. That's the way to finish up every round, just like that. I got it down. 
Come on, Ma. We're going to turn on the water bag. Okay. Turn on the water bag and turn on then 10 minutes on speed bag for how many minutes you have to do. So we're going to give them. Here you go. I'm wrestling with them all. Is he big? He's strong. He's fast. He's pushing me. And we ain't giving him too much. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go, huh? Yeah, right, okay, let's go. That's the way. All this shit over here. That's the way. Just one punch punches off. Feel good. All right, let's go. You go, I said, just like that. Keep it out. Watching. Watch. That's how I don't want Show him. Show him. Show it to him. Come here with that shit if you want to. Six minutes on the speed bag. Okay. And I get these people on the phone so we can do uh, testing. Yeah. 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 Everything, everything looking good though. Just keep using moving. As long as your, long as your hand moving, you're good. Head moving, head moving. Yeah, that's all I'm on. That's it. That's all I want to say. Nothing more than that. Got to prove nothing, baby. You're already there. Yeah. You're already at the top. When you're at the top, you ain't got to prove we're nothing. We're leading the race. Yeah, we're leading the race. All right, let's go. Last one. I hate not having drugs in the back. Listen to me. 
Just some music. It's okay. There you go. Beautiful, double it. Two. There you go. There you go. Good roll behind it. Just the way. Media workout as he prepares to defend his title against Sergey Devyachenko on September 26th on Showtime Pay Per View. The Charlo doubleheader will feature six outstanding matchups, five world titles on the line. It all begins 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific time. Jamal Charlo defending his title against Sergey Devyachenko. Two cards for the price of one, $74.99. Six minutes, six minutes. Jack, six minutes. Six, six minutes. Six minutes. Cut that out from me. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna come turn it off. Go ahead. I got it. I got it. Six minutes, so it's 22. No, no, but we're going to do the testing first. We could, we could, and then, then. I'll see if you do it. Uh -huh. I'm going to call the doctor now. You could do six. You don't want to. No. Yeah. So, uh, as, as soon as he finishes there, we're going to do the testing. Well, he's got to. Can we just wrap this live stream?
Here. That's like those rappers with the with the rented cars. Damo, what's up, baby? That's, what's up, man? That's what's up, man? We gotta do COVID so since again. Yeah. They woke me up no. with Vada. Hold on, hold on. We gotta they do. They woke me up. We gotta do. Uh, I ain't even had breakfast. You go do. You go do that over there with them first. There's three questions. Hold up. There's three questions. Then you gotta come over and do the test. Then you gotta go back over there. Oh, y'all on some shit. Jamal, how are you feeling after one second? Cutting my hand wraps off. Oh. Cut. Sorry. Let you have your right. time. God damn. Let me take my shirt off. You know, you know, I just start pulling my shirt off like this. I'm like, where are we going? Well, right here. Right. I, how do you feel after your workout? I mean, getting closer to the fight. I didn't really give it too much because you know? they, they watching already. You know what I'm saying? They already know what I do. I got 30 fights, 22 knockouts. So I've been doing what I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I've been doing, right? No, I mean, we've been, I mean, I mean for a long, hey, long time. in my crib. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm glad you're having a good time out here. It's a party every day. This the come out party on what, next Saturday? We don't even know. We just working. We, it's just like a work day for me. You know what I mean? What can fans expect on the 26th against Dariachenko? Man, the fans, the fans that love me could expect me to do what I do. The fans who don't really, you know, know about me, get a load of this, you know, smart, real strong, athletic, everything else you know you're gonna learn about me is gonna be on the 26th. But the fans who don't give a shit about me. On to the next one, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, they out here, you know, it's for real. That's what we do, man. I came from nothing. I want to put on, put my family on, put everybody on. Running shows, go to the Hall of Fame because of me. You know what I'm saying? We do something in boxing that nobody ever did. Look at, them, get a load of that. You see what I'm saying? And when I when I train, I look outside, I be like, man, ain't no way I'm losing this. You know, it's more, more motivation for me because I got my family, and they all they all on my back. What do Houston, you want to? Houston, we got another one. You know what I'm saying? We got another one, Houston. What do you want to tell the rest of the middleweights once you go ahead and if things go according to plan for you, what do you want to tell the rest of the middleweights out there that are watching right now? Buckle your seatbelt. Buckle your seatbelt. It's liftoff. 
Yeah, everybody that was doubting me, everybody who didn't think you'll get a turn, you're going to get your chance. You just you just hold tight. I'm running the show. I got the big boat. You know what I'm saying? We driving the boat. So y'all y'all stay locked. You know what I mean? The space shuttle going to take off. You better be on it. If not, then you're going to get skipped over. Look, man, we don't got too much longer to be playing with y'all. I'm 30, 30 and 0, 22 knockouts. September 26th you know on saying? Showtime we Pay-Per-View. You do not want to miss it. At? Tomorrow, we got your brother, Jermel Charlo, <laughs> at 1 Eastern, 10 you know in the morning Pacific time, right here on the PBC <laughs> YouTube page. Jamal, thank you so much for inviting us into your home, watching you work out. Good watch, luck next Saturday. Watch, watch on Saturday. Everybody that doubt me, watch, watch, watch. I got Jamal some Charlo, we'll watch. see you tomorrow for Jamal Charlo's workout here on the PBC YouTube page. Watch. I mean, the only thing is we didn't get them. I mean, it's perfect right there because, I mean, it saves it, keeps that backdrop, keeps that safety.